All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right, this is the Bobby Yakanan from the GMS England branch. As you can see, this will serve as an in-transit edition video. Lord willing, it be edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and also learning, all right? Now, um, I'm gonna entitle this video uh, pray you remain all right pray you remain and inspiration is drawn from the latest addition to the um fallout gang all right you had them um individuals from uh, boston you know that fell out and um started teaching you know another doctrine you know, teaching that, you know, basically everyone can be saved. Salvation is for everyone. And, um, you know, it's always a fearful thing when you consider the fact that Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai can take away your Holy Spirit away from you, you know? And, you know, one moment, one week, you can be teaching the pure doctrine of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. And then the next week, you can be teaching things that you ought not to be teaching, all right? You can be seduced by these, you know, these demons, all right? The scriptures speak about, you know, having itching ears and giving heed, you know, to doctrines of devils, you know? And that's a very, very fearful thing just to know that, you know, one week you can be teaching the right thing and then the next week you can be teaching something completely different all right that is going to lead you to ultimately be destroyed upon Yahweh bar shim is coming all right or even before that you know and again you know that's a terrible thought and that's why you know it's so important to pray you know that psalms 51 all right pray that Yahweh bar shim take not your holy spirit away from you you know Pray that you have the um, the um, endurance, you know, the ability, you know, to make it unto the end. Because the scriptures say, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved, you know. And we've witnessed many, you know, guys not make it to the end, all right, not finish their course, okay. But in their mind, you know, the Lord has given them that strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Okay? So they're going to believe in their own mind that they're doing the right thing. They're going to believe that, you know, the path that they're now on is the path that is the um, correct path. Okay? And that's that strong delusion. Alright? That's that's a very uh, fearful and terrible thing. And we got to pray to Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai that that same fate does not befall us in our walk in this ministry, all right? And that's why it's so important to stay, you know, grounded and continue in the things that you have learned and have been assured of, all right? As it tells us in the Holy Scriptures, man, because look, man, the Scriptures speak about rightly dividing the word of truth. So when the Lord takes away the, the spirit from you, you have actually lost the ability to rightly divide the word of truth man you've lost that ability and ultimately you lost the ability to discern right from wrong okay you've ultimately lost the ability to discern right from wrong all right you're back at square one and that's why you know the scriptures speak about returning to the pollutions of the world all right once you've been enlightened and then you know going back and turning to the pollutions of the world you know as if a dog you know, uh, return it to its vomit, that's a horrible thing, all right? Because now you're back at square one. Now you're back in the world, all right? And now, you know, you have more demons 
on you that, than you had in the world in the beginning, all right? Because you were exposed to this beautiful truth. You was exposed to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, but you didn't continue therein, all right? So the judgment, all right, the scriptures speak about, you know, you're going to receive, you know, even more stress because you knew the word, all right? You knew the truth, but then you fell away from it. So the judgment is even heavier, all right? And I'm roughly paraphrasing here, you know? And that's a terrible thing, man. So we have to pray to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to keep us in the fold, man, which, hey, ultimately the elect were sealed from the very beginning. The elect were ordained to make it in these last days. The elect won't fall away from the truth, okay? The elect won't be seduced by, um, you know, them, them, them devils, okay? And itching ears, okay? The elect are going to stay in the truth. The elect are going to stand stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The elect are not going to be teaching that, you know, all nations can be saved, all right, the elect are going to stay in the correct doctrine. The, the elect are going to do what's expected of the elect. You know, but you know these individuals they serve as a um you know as, as the apostles always tell us they serve as a um a token as to what not what not to do. You know examples so you know. What is, what is the wrong thing and what is the right thing, all right? So that you have to have examples of, you know, guys that are off in the spirit. You have to have examples of guys that don't know how to, um you know, uh, uh, um, um, discern right from wrong. So you can look at them and be like, yeah, I don't want to be like that, man. You know, I want to be in the spirit. I want to do the right thing. I want to stay in the truth. Okay, we need those examples, man. But you just don't want to be one of those examples, man. You want to be an example for good. You want to be an example, you know, for righteousness, man. You know? And that's where the fear comes in, all right? That's where the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai comes in, man. All right? And that's why, again, prayer is so important. And the apostles, they always um, ingrained in us, you know, the importance of prayer. All right? Because we're, we're involved in a spiritual war. All right? This is a spiritual war, man. Satan, hey, as, as Yahweh Shai said unto Simon Peter, as Satan have desired to, you know, sift you as the wheat. But I prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. You know, Satan wants you, man. You know, he actually wants you outside of the fold. He wants you outside of the truth. He don't want you to go out there on the highways and the byways and teach the right thing. All right? Satan wants to devour you. Okay? He wants you teaching, you know, bugged out doctrines. He wants you to go out there on the highways and the byways and tell the nations that they can be saved and make them feel good. <laughs> you know, he wants you to join, you know, go and join the Christian church. He wants you to do away with the names Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. This is what Satan wants you to do, man. You know, but if you're of the elect, hey, Yahweh Shai has prayed for you and you ain't going to fall away. Okay, so obviously Yahweh Shai didn't pray for them, for them uh, dudes, man for them guys okay and that's why they fed out the truth all right and that's what it is man so hey i just want to um i just wanted to you know speak on that you know briefly you know lord willing you know it was edifying and uh lord willing i'm gonna do a, another video in regards to um that particular you know subject matter in regards to you know the other nations, you know, making it, man, which they can't make it, all right, that, those, that doesn't even make sense, you know, when you come into this faith, and again, you have the ability to rightly divide, you know, the word of truth, you just know that don't make no sense, man, that don't tally up with the prophecies, all right, so with that, Lord willing, this has been uh, edifying, and until the next one, I'll say Shalom.